Good day, everyone. It's nice that you're here again. Last time, our topic is about recognizing a simple paragraph. Can you tell me the parts of a simple paragraph? Very good. We have the topic sentence, the body or supporting sentences, and the closing or clincher sentence. I think you are now ready for our next lesson. Today, I'll be showing you a set of pictures to which you're going to tell me what they are. Ready? Here's the first picture. The second picture. And the last picture. Were you able to identify them all? Very good! The first picture is a dictionary. The second one is a thesaurus. And the last picture is a computer or laptop where we can do some research. Now, do you have any idea how to use this? That's great! Okay, so now you will learn more how to use different sources such as the dictionary, thesaurus, and online sources and finding the meaning of a word. Let's go! Before we start, what do you usually do when you find a difficult word from a book or from some online sources? Okay, sometimes we usually ask or consult someone who can explain to us the meaning of words. But what if they also don't know the meaning of it? In today's lesson, our objective is to Use resources such as dictionary, thesaurus, online sources to find the meaning of words. Let's begin with the definition of a dictionary. A dictionary is a reference source in print or electronic form containing words usually alphabetically arranged along with information. For us to be familiarized with the parts of a dictionary, let's go over the parts of it. First, we have the guide words. Next, we have the page number. We also have the pronunciation, followed by the part of speech. We also have the entry word. And of course, the definition of the word. Now, let's try to do this by answering the following questions. Okay, so the first question we have, what is the last entry word on this page? Very good! It is the word February. Next, what word means skillful, quick thinking, and intelligent? That's great! It is the word clever. For the third question we have, what is the definition of the word expensive? That's great! It means costly or high-priced. Next, what part of speech is the word sell? Good job! The word sell belongs to the part of speech noun. And for the last question we have, what are the guide words on this page? That's nice! It is the words sell up to the word February. Good job, everyone! Now, let's move on to the definition of a thesaurus. 
a thesaurus is a book of words or of information about a particular field or set of concepts, especially a book of words and their synonyms. Now, let's go over to the parts of a thesaurus. We have here the entry word, the definition, the synonyms, and the antonyms. Now, let's try to do this activity. Study the thesaurus entry and answer the questions that follow. For the first question we have, what is the main entry in this thesaurus? Very good! It is the word obsolete. Now, what part of speech does the word obsolete belongs? Great job! It belongs to the part of speech adjective. For the third question we have, what is the meaning of the word obsolete? That's nice! The definition of the word obsolete is having passed its time of use or usefulness. The fourth question we have, what are the synonyms of the word obsolete? Great job! Of course, we have four. We have the words outdated, outworn, fossilized, and antiquated. The last question we have, how about the antonyms of the word obsolete? Very good! We also have four. We have the words modern, new, contemporary, and current. Good job, everyone! Now, let's try to do this activity. Choose the word from the box that could replace the bold-faced word in each sentence. Note, be guided with the context clues and the use of a thesaurus. Number 1. The dinosaur bones were old. The bold-faced word here is the word old. What is the meaning of the word old? Very good! It is the word ancient. Number 2. It was a hot day in the desert. The bold face word here is the word hot. What is the meaning of the word hot? Good job! It is the word zizzling. Next, number three we have, That joke made me laugh. What is the meaning of the word laugh? Great job! It is the word chuckle. That joke made me chuckle. Number 4. I found a missing puzzle piece on the floor. The highlighted word here is the word found. What is the meaning of the word found? Very good! It is the word discovered. Number 5. We were lucky that it didn't rain. The highlighted word here is the word lucky. What is the meaning of the word lucky? Good job! The meaning of the word lucky is the word fortunate. And for the last number, after playing palo sebo, my clothes were dirty. The highlighted word here is the word dirty. What is the meaning of the word dirty? Great job! It is the word greeny. Very good! For the last topic, we have online sources. It refers to any materials you find online. It could be a blog post, a newspaper article published online, a journal article you have read online, or an online video. Here we have an example of an online resource. 
Let's watch this. I think you are now ready to do this activity. Find the meaning of the following words in an online sources. Congratulations everyone! You are now ready to answer your modules and activity sheet. Happy learning! Till next time!